believe in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. In him is salvation, life and resurrection from the dead. By him we are redeemed and set at liberty. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. In him is salvation, life and resurrection from the dead. By to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. In him is salvation, life and resurrection from the dead. By him we are redeemed and set at liberty.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. On this evening, the first evening of our Triduum celebrations, we extend a warm welcome to all of our parishioners and all who are joining us by live stream. We wish that you could be with us, but please know that we are united with you in prayer as we begin the celebration of this most sacred time in our liturgical year. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. us pray. O God, who has called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son went about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the Church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it either from the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. And then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lentil on every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. And this is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on the same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord, but the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Then when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. in the eyes 
servant am I, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds. Lord, bless in copies of communion with the blood. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. 
The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon, the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him, and for this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So, when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. It is a sad yet true fact of human nature that we can very quickly come to take the good things of our lives, even the best things, for granted. And it may go without saying that the past few days have taught us that lesson far too well in far too many ways. The loss of ordinary freedoms, comfort, security, even the ability to plan confidently for our future. So many of these good things, these consolations of daily life, have largely disappeared in the span of less than a month. But could there still be a silver lining to all of this? On the other side of the turmoil, once all of the unknowns become known, there is one thing we can predict, I believe, with some certainty, and that is that we will appreciate the gifts that we have just a little bit more. I found myself drawn to reflect again and again on the spiritual parallels between this extraordinary experience of Lent that we have had and the uncertainty and the fear that must have surrounded the events of that first Holy Week on the road to our Lord's Passion. But those parallels we know go back even to the ancient roots of this night on the first Passover. Fear and anticipation hung over the people of Israel as they made their own preparations, trusting in the promise of God that they would soon be freed from slavery. The angel of death was among them, but for the people of God, a brighter dawn was coming, the first morning of their liberation. And for the disciples, their celebration of Passover was, whether they realized it or not, the prelude to their own liberation, but it was a freedom that would first still need to be marked once again by death and even indescribable suffering. They too surely did not fully grasp the gifts that they had received in those three years walking with Christ, 
they were only dimly beginning to recognize his divinity or discern the magnitude of the mission he was about to accomplish on the cross. And certainly on that Passover night, they could not have yet understood the power of the sacraments he would institute there in their midst for them and indeed in them. In this mass, in every mass, we echo those words. This is my body. This is the chalice of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. And in that moment, in that representation of the sacrifice, we are there. We share in that same mystery. We receive that same body, blood, soul, and divinity of the incarnate Son of God from the same priesthood he instituted with those apostles in that upper room. We offer with him and through him that same sacrifice of our redemption. And tonight, as we live uncertain about the future and are overshadowed in our own way by the crosses of fear and isolation, we cannot help but wonder, perhaps, perhaps this Eucharist is one of these gifts we will learn not to take for granted. For all the justifiable beauty and grandeur and celebration of our Triduum celebrations on any normal year, it is easy to forget that that first Easter was really a confusing and a dark time. But it was through that darkness that Jesus brought God's promise of salvation to fulfillment. We carry these promises and the grace of these sacraments with us now in our own times of challenge, trusting that in the darkness and the confusion of our own lives, Christ's promise to us will be fulfilled as well. And whether we realize it or not, he has prepared his church for this moment. He has prepared you. Every sacrament you have received, every mass you have attended before now, every prayer you have offered still serves to strengthen you to take up our Lord's cross and follow him with hope into the shadows of this triduum. Like the apostles, we find that even if we did not grasp the graces of those moments of worship and close, closeness to the Lord when they happened, even now, as we are separated from our common life of worship, we have this opportunity to unpack and delve deeper into that mystery. We can grow in our insight through prayer into the power of what we have received and the way in which our unity as his body, the church, continues to sustain us through these trials. And now in the physical absence of our community, we have also lost this night's most beautiful external sign of our charity in the washing of feet, but it is still present to us as we have just heard in the words of the gospel. And we are to make this sign a reality, my friends, and to follow his model of sacrificial love. Nothing could be more important now of all times and years. Now, in times of trial, it is this sign of the humble love of Jesus Christ that should shape the way that we put the grace of his sacraments into action. Now is the time for service, even in the smallest ways. Now is the time for love of neighbor, for encouraging one another in fear and uncertainty. Now is the time for generosity in moments of desperate need. Now is the time, yes, for humility, as our pride is broken in a world that is out of our control. Now, more than ever, is the time for trust, to do for others as Christ our Lord has done for us, to lay down our lives, to love as we have been loved, even to the foot of the cross itself. For that cross, that sign of our salvation, is the greatest gift of all. The gift that has been renewed in our lives in every Mass since that first Holy Thursday. The gift that strengthens us now as we step forward into the shadows and into the mystery of this sacred triduum.
And now, trusting in the love and providence of God, we offer him our prayers and our petitions. And we offer all these prayers and our petitions through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear parishioners, this is usually when the collection basket is passed, but that is not possible, of course, with the current situation. Our collection today is for the local poor, specifically benefiting the Williamsburg House of Mercy. Please consider giving today. Our digital usher will post the link where you can make a gift or you may also mail it to our parish address. For all of those who still have Lenten rice bowls, you can drop those off here at the church when we are able to offer our public masses again. Thank you for your generosity. Amor, Deus e Bíblia. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these sacraments. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through who Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, the living, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and praying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true.
celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Peter Paul, and Paul, Andrew, Paul, Andrew, James, John, James, Thomas, John, Thomas, James, Philip, James, Philip Bartholomew, Bartholomew, Matthew, Matthew Simon, and Simon, and Jude, Simon and Jude, Linus, Linus, Clemens, Clemens, Sixtus, Sixtus, Sixtus Cornelius, Cornelius, Cyprian, Cyprian, Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence Prosogonus, John and Paul, John and Paul, Cosmos, Cosmos and, Damian, and Damian, and all your saints. And all your saints. We ask that through we their merits and prayers and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Therefore, Lord, we, Lord, pray. we pray, graciously, graciously accept this oblation, this oblation of, our of our service, that of your whole, family, of your whole family, which we make which to you, make as, to we you as we observe the day on which our Lord Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ handed, on, handed the on the mysteries of his, his body and blood, and blood for his blood disciples, for his disciples to, celebrate. to celebrate. Order our Order days, our days peace, in your peace, in command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, be pleased, O God, we, o God pray, we pray, to bless, to bless acknowledge, and acknowledge and approve, and approve this, offering this offering in every respect. In every respect. Make, it Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it, so may, that become it may become for us the, the body and blood, and blood of, your of your most beloved Son, our Lord, our Jesus, Lord Christ. Jesus Christ. On the day before, the day he, before he was to suffer, for our salvation, salvation and the salvation, and the salvation of, all, of all that is that today. Is today. He took bread, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O to God, you, o God his, almighty his almighty Father, giving you thanks, giving you thanks he, said the he blessing, said the blessing, broke the bread, broke the bread and gave it, and to, gave his it disciples, to his disciples, saying, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the, he blessing, said the blessing, and gave the and chalice, gave the to, chalice his to his disciples, saying, disciples, saying take, this, take this, all of you, all of and, you drink from and drink from it, for this, for is, this the is the chalice of my blood, of my blood the blood of the, blood the, new, of the eternal, new and covenant, eternal covenant, which will be which poured, will be poured out, out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial, the memorial of the Passion, blessed Passion, the resurrection, the resurrection from, the dead, from the dead, and the glorious, and the glorious ascension, ascension into heaven of Christ, of Christ your, Son, your Son, our Lord. We, your, we, servants, your servants and your holy and people, people, offer to your, offer glorious, to your majesty glorious majesty from the gifts, from the that, gifts that you have given us, this pure this victim, pure victim, this, holy victim, this, holy victim this, spotless this spotless victim, the holy bread, the holy of, bread of eternal life, life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased, to, Be pleased look to look upon these offerings with a serene, with a serene and kindly countenance, countenance and to accept, and to accept them, them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, the just, the, just, the sacrifice, the sacrifice of, Abraham, of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering, and the offering of your high priest, of your high priest Melchizedek, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a, holy sacrifice, a, spotless, a spotless victim. victim. In humble prayer, in humble we, prayer ask we ask you, Almighty God, God command, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight, in the of, sight your of your divine majesty, so that, so all, that of us, all of us who through this, who through this participation at the altar receive, receive the most holy, holy body and blood, and blood of your Son may be filled, may be filled with, every with every grace and heavenly and blessing. Heavenly blessing. 
Remember also, remember Lord, also, your, Lord servants, your servants who have gone before, have gone us, before us with a sign of faith, faith and rest in the sleep, sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, them, o we, Lord pray, we pray, and all who, and sleep, all who in sleep in Christ a place of, a place of refreshment, light, light and, peace. and peace. To us, to also, us your also your servants, servants who, those sinners, who those sinners, hope in your abundant, hope in your abundant mercies, mercies, graciously, graciously grant some share, share and fellowship, and fellowship with, your with your holy apostles and martyrs, and martyrs with John the Baptist, with John the Baptist Stephen, Stephen, Matthias, Matthias Barnabas, Ignatius, Ignatius, Alexander, Alexander Marcellinus, Marcellinus, Peter, Peter, Felicity, Felicity Perpetua, Perpetua, Agatha, Agatha, Lucy, Lucy Agnes, Agnes, Cecilia, Cecilia Anastasia, Anastasia, and all your and saints. All your saints. Admit, us, Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Christ Lord. our Lord, through whom you through continue, whom you to, continue make all to make these all these good things, good things, O Lord. You sanctify, you sanctify them, them, fill them with fill life, them with life bless, them, bless them, and bestow, and them, bestow upon them upon us. Through him, through and, him and with him, him and in him, 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 O God, o God Almighty Father, Father in, the unity in the unity of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit here at, all glory, all glory and, honor and honor is yours, is yours forever, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you with a lively faith. You are present in this sacrament by virtue of your infinite power, wisdom, and goodness. Although conscious of my unworthiness, I place all my hope in you. I love you, O Lord, with all my heart, and a desire to receive you now spiritually. 
Come, therefore, O Lord, to me in spirit. Feed me, for I am hungry. Strengthen me, for I am weak. Enliven and sanctify me with your sacred body and blood. Deliver me from all sin and make me always obedient to your commands. Let me never be separated from you, my Savior, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign one God forever and ever. Amen.
let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Our live stream will soon end, and in a few minutes we'll begin again with a live stream of our tabernacle until midnight. We invite you to join us online this evening in prayer and adoration before the Blessed Sacrament. The Good Friday Passion of Our Lord will be live streamed tomorrow at noon.
sanguis Christi merum, et si sensus deficit, ad firmandum cors in cerum, sola fides sufficit. Come adore this wondrous presence, Bow to Christ, the source of grace. Here is kept the ancient promise of God's earthly dwelling place. Sight is blind before God's glory. Faith alone may see his face. Glory be to God the Father, praise to his co-equal Son, adoration to the Spirit, bond of love in God and one. Blessed be God by all creation, joyously while ages run. Tantum ergo sacramentum, venere murcenui, et anticum documentum, novo cedat litui, preset fides unementum, sensum de Stay. 